Hi there. Today's story is about Pish and Posh. Pish and Posh are ready to be fairies, but they need to learn to wish wisely. How will they get their fairy wings? Let's start the story and find out together. Turn to page five. When you hear this sound, turn the page. Posh poured the juice. She didn't spill it. She put cereal in a bowl. She didn't drop any flakes. She made raisin toast for Pish, her very best friend. Good morning. Here's breakfast," said Posh, happy with herself. I smell something burning," said Pish. "Why do you always burn the toast? Everything but the toast is perfect," said Posh. "You are not careful," said Pish. Who liked things to be just right? How can you be a good fairy if you don't get things right? We need to be careful so we earn our wings," said Pish. The fairy handbook says we each have four chances to make a wise wish. Then we get our fairy wings. I want fairy wings most of all," said Posh. Fairies who burn the toast don't get wings. They are too slapdash," said Pish. "I am not slapdash," cried Posh. She ran into the bedroom and threw herself on the bed. "Ouch! Please, no bouncing," said a voice from under the bed. "But I am angry," said Posh. I would be angry too if somebody called me slapdash and didn't like my breakfast because of one burnt piece of toast," said the voice. Someone understood. Someone took her side. Whoever you are," said Posh. "I love you." I am the monster under the bed. Posh peeked underneath the bed. A pair of eyes stared back. "Hello, sir," said Posh, a little afraid. "Hello, Posh. You can call me Mub. This is your bed, and I am your monster," said Mub. Pish walked into the room. "Who are you?" she asked when she saw Mub. "I am the monster under the bed." He said, "I've always been scared of monsters," said Pish. "But you don't seem scary." "I'm not scary," said Mub. "By the way, are you missing this blue puzzle piece?" "I was. Thank you," said Pish. "My pleasure," said Mub. He put it where it belonged. Pish and Mub began a new puzzle. When they finished the frame, Pish said, "Excuse me, Mub, but we must start our wishes now. The fairy handbook says we must wish wisely to get our fairy wings, and then we'll learn to fly," said Posh. Posh opened the fairy handbook. She began to mark the pages. "What are you doing?" called Pish. "I am underlining the important things." Said Posh, "Please do not write in the book," said Pish. But Posh underlined anyway. "You don't listen to a word I say. If you listened, you would not lose things or burn toast." I wish you would listen to me," Pish yelled. "I don't think you are going to like that wish," said Mub. The wish worked. It worked. Too well. Now Posh erased all the lines. She found Pish's lost book about roses and the top of the puzzle box. She made perfect toast. 
Pish liked this new posh. A little later, Pish said, Let's read a story. Too much to do, said Posh, who was finishing her chores. Pish noticed Posh wasn't humming. She didn't skip, and she didn't fuss. Pish didn't like this new Posh after all. Posh, you're not Posh-like anymore, Pish said. I'm the Posh you wished for said Posh. I miss the Posh who asked to read a story when it was time to clean up, said Pish. Making the right wish was not easy, Pish thought. I wish, I wish, I wish Posh would return, shouted Pish. Now, everywhere Pish looked, there were Poshes. Poshes in the hammock, Poshes nibbling cookies, and singing silly songs. Posh! called Pish. The Poshes stopped. Yes! they all said together. Which was the real Posh? I want the real Posh back! Pish hurled herself on Posh's bed. Ugh! My head! groaned the monster under the bed. Oh, Mub! said Pish. I wish everything was the way it used to be. When Pish looked outside, she saw Posh on her hammock. Posh, is that really you? Pish asked. Of course, said Posh. Everything is fine then, said Pish. Not really, said Mub. You have only one fairy wish left. And you are no closer to your fairy wings. If Posh was not so slapdash, said Pish, I wouldn't have wasted three wishes. You wasted your wishes? asked Posh. That is slapdash. Friends, friends, said Mub. Arguing is not the way to become fairies who can fly. Who asked you? said Pish. I wish you would disappear. And Mub was gone. That was a horrible wish, said Posh. I got angry, said Pish. Now, said Posh, it's my turn to wish. I wish Mub would return, said Posh. That is the first good wish I have heard all day. Mub, is that you? Posh cried. She looked under the bed. There was nobody there. Only his voice is back, Pish told her. Magic wishes were tricky for Posh, too. Pish, remember how Mub helped you with your puzzles? Asked Posh. And remember how he understood me? I remember, said Pish. And he said we shouldn't argue. Let's learn how to get Mub back, said Posh. But you can't be too bossy. And don't read so fast that I get confused, said Posh. Pish and Posh opened the fairy handbook and sat down to learn magic together. Let's not argue, said Pish. Fairies don't argue said Posh. I know that, said Pish. You always know everything, said Posh. It's true, said Pish. And I also know how to be good. So Pish was good. Where do I start? Posh asked Pish. Pish didn't say, begin at the beginning. Instead, Pish said, at the top of the page. And when Posh asked, What does this word mean? Pish didn't say, Don't you know that word? Instead, she said, You are doing fine. Posh read the fairy handbook until the very end, which said, Now you know how to wish wisely. Posh wished wisely. 
The monster under the bed was under the bed again. And Posh had glittery fairy wings. Pish needed wings too. I wish, said Posh, for sparkly fairy wings for Pish, so one day we both can fly. There was a loud noise. Posh and Mub went to find Pish. All by herself, Pish had made Posh's bed higher for Mub. I love my new under the bed, said Mub. But please, no more bouncing. There was bouncing. Two fairies who make magic wishes and have their fairy wings may have as much fun as they like. It says so on the very last page of the fairy handbook. How did you like today's story? Did Mub scare you? I hope not. <laughs> and how about Posh, huh? Once she tried to be good, everything fell into place. Well, I hope you liked the story. Let's read together again real soon. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>